And now we're troubleshooting EAGRP Simlet. But before we start, let me give you some reminders. When dealing with EAGRP, you should check if the AS number should be the same on both routers. The next is the network should be advertised correctly. And there should be no passive interfaces on both routers. So now let's read the question. Refer to the topology. Your company has connected the routers R1, R2, and R3 with serial links. R2 and R3 are connected to the switches Switch 1 and Switch 2, respectively. Switch 1 and Switch 2 are also connected to the routers R4 and R5. The EAGRP routing protocol is configured. You are required to troubleshoot and resolve the EAGRP issues between the various router. Use the appropriate show commands to troubleshoot the issues. So the show commands that we will use is Show IP protocols, show IP interface brief, show route, and show run. So now let's take a look at our topology. As you can see, we are using EAGRP AS number one. So all routers must use AS number 1 in order for them to communicate with each other. So now let's try to answer question number 1. The loopback interfaces on R4 with the IP addresses of 10.4.4 slash 32, 10.4.4.5 slash 32, and 10.4.4.6 slash 32 are not appearing in the routing table of R5. Why are the interfaces missing? So in troubleshooting Simlet, let's all try all the possible answers because this is a multiple choice type of question. So let's try possible answer letter A. The interfaces are shut down so they are not being advertised. Check router 4. Let's check the interfaces of router 4. Let's go to the topology. Router 4. Command line. Then type enable. Then show IP interface brief. By typing show IP interface brief, we are now seeing the interfaces of router 4. So these are the IP addresses connected with router 4. So these are the IP address we are looking for. This is so, you know, in the loopback 0, is up and up. So loopback 1, 10.4.4.5 is also up. And loopback 2, 10.4.4.6 is also up. So the three IP addresses are, are all up. So we can now conclude that this is working fine. So letter A is not the correct answer. So let me pause this video to show you something. So if we see a scenario like this, the 10.4, that 5, that 6 are now administratively down. So now, in this scenario, the letter A possible answer is now the correct answer. So now let's try the possible answer letter B. Router 4 has been incorrectly configured to be in another AS, so it does not appear with Router 5. So let's check Router 4 again. So let's check Router 4. So type show IP protocols. So now we see that routing protocol is EIGRP2. So if you look at the topology again, all routers are using EAGRP AS number 1. So let's check router 5 to confirm it. Let's go to router 5. Contact enable. Show IP protocols on router 5 to check. See that routing protocol is EAGRP 1. Again, when dealing with EAGRP, their AS number should be the same on both routers for them to communicate. EAGRP 2. EAGRP1, so the answer will be letter B. So now let's try the possible answer letter C. Automatic summarization is enabled, so only the 10.0.0 .0 network is displayed. Again, automatic summarization is enabled, so this is the cause of the problem. 
it. So the only 10.0.0 network is displayed. So this is the effect. So let's check. Therefore, and then let's clear. For check, show IP protocol. So as we see, the automatic network summarization is in effect. But the routing for network is that for that four, that five, and that six. So it's working fine. So again, let me pause this video. So now, if you saw this scenario again, the automatic network summarization is in effect. But now, the routing for networks just advertised 10.0.0. So now, in this scenario, the answer will be letter C. So now, let's try the possible answer letter D. The loopback addresses haven't been advertised and the network command is missing on router 4. So let's check on router 4 again. To check if the network is advertised, let's do the show command show IP protocols and show IP interface with. So all of the IP address connected to router 4 must be advertised in routing for network. So let's check. 10.4.4, so it is here. 10.4.4.5, 10.4.5, 10.4.4.6, and 10.4.4.7. So now it seems to say that this is advertised correctly. So now, if you saw a scenario like this, as you can see 10.4, that 5, and that 6 are now not advertised in the route for network. So now, the answer would be letter D. So now, we're, we're done with question number 1. So let's try the question number 2. Question number 2, which path does traffic take from router 1 to router 5? So now, let's check router 1. Type enable, show IP route. It show IP route. So this is the destination IP addresses. This is the administrative distance. This is the feasible, and this via this work. This will be the route for in order to router one to go to router five. So this will be the route where will router one will go to the destination IP address. So now let's check the interfaces of router five because. We don't know who is router 5 here, so now let's check router 5. Enable. Show IP interface brief. Okay. So this is the interfaces of router 5, so we should compare where is router 5. So now we see that 192.168.123. So this is router 5. And also this is router 5. And also this is router 5. So it says here that in order to get router 5, it will go via 192.168.12.2. So our next task will be how, who is this IP address? So let's check on the topology. In order for router 1 to go to router 5, it can either go to router 2 or router 3. So let's check first router 3. If the, type enable. Show IP interface brief. So I can see that 192, 192.168.12.2. So this is not the correct answer. So let's try router 2. Type enable. Show IP interface brief. So there you go. This is the 192, 192.168.12.2. So router 1 will go to router 2 in order to go to router 5. So the answer will be letter A in this scenario. And then let's go back. Let's go to router 1. In your exam, if we see only a one via like this one, you can now ignore the possible answers C and D. But if, if you see a scenario like this on your exam, so you can see, in order to go to 10.5.5, it has to go to either the router 2 or router 3. So, in this scenario, you may now ignore possible answer letter A and B. So now, how to check if the traffic is equally loaded balance or unequally loaded balance? To 
in order to check this, just compare the numbers in the parentheses. The number are equal, so they are equal or the same. If not, they are not equal. In this case, they are not the same, so the answer will be letter D. The traffic is an equally loaded balance over router 2 and router 3. So now let's go to question number 3. Router 6 does not form an EIGRP neighbor relationship correctly with router 1. What is the cause for misconfiguration? So let's try the K value mismatch. So let's check router 1 first. How to check it? Show IT protocols. So there is the K, K values. DAGRP metric weight K1, 0, so this one. So let's see if router 6 has the same K values. Enable show IP protocols. So let's compare the both routers. So K10100, K10100. So they are the same, so there is no K value mismatch. So let's write the possible answer letter B. The AS number does not match. So again, let's go. Router 1, router 6. Let's compare it. So the AS number of router 1 is EIGRP2 and router 6 is EIGRP1. So again, there is an AS value mismatch. So the answer will be letter P. So let's try the possible answer letter C. So let's try the network command is missing. Let's check. Router 1. We have now the show IP protocol, so let's do show IP interface brief. So let's check. So now this is the interface of router 6. So 10.66 is advertised and routing for networks, but the 192.168.16.6 is not advertised for the routing for network. So this will, the answer will be letter C. Again, every IP address in the IP interface brief should be advertised for routing for network in order for them to work correctly. So now let's check if letter D, the passive interfaces command is enabled. So let's go to router 6. So IP protocol to check the passive interfaces. So now we don't see any passive interface. But if you see a scenario like this, there is a passive interface as pass zero, pass internet zero zero. So this will be the answer. Wait, I forgot to advertise the routing for network. So I just post the video. So this is the perfect example for a possible answer letter D. So now let's go to question number 4. Study the following output then taken on router 1. So we are given a scenario router 1 is trying to ping the 10.5.55 using the 10.1.1 IP address of router 1. It says the ping is not successful. Why are the ping failing? So let's try. Letter A, the network statement is missing on uh, router 5. So, so we'll go to router 5. Enable. Then show IP protocols. Then again show IP interface brief. So let's check if the state the 10.5.55 is correctly advertised. So it is correctly advertised, so it's working fine. So the answer will not be letter A. So let's try the possible answer letter B. The loopback interface is shut down on router 5. Okay, let's check on router 5. The loopback interface, the 10.5.55, is up and up. 
So it's working, so the answer will not be letter B. So again, let's try possible answer letter C. The network statement is missing on router 1. So we should check router 1. So let's go to router 1. Show IP protocols and show IP interface brief. So again, in the scenario, the router 1 is using the 10.1.1. So let's check if it's advertised correctly. So 10.1.1. So check for routing for network. So right now we saw that. 10.1.1 is not advertised correctly, so that's why the ping, the ping is failing. So let's check the possible answer letter D. The IP address that is configured on loopback1 interface on router 5 is incorrect. So let's go to router 5. So this is the interfaces of router 5. Now, the loopback1 is currently correctly configured IP address 10.5.55 so if you configure an incorrect IP address the CLI won't accept it so the IP address will be unassigned so that's all for EIGRP troubleshooting simplet I hope that this was informative for you and thank you for viewing